welcome or welcome back to the channel in today's video we're going to talk about how i study for failed uh made some adjustments restudy and then passed the az 104 i think it's very important for me to talk about my failure because i don't want my failures because i don't want to just come here all the time and then tell you guys that hey this is um this is how i study for and passed the exam i think Part of growth is learning how to embrace failure and don't forget to stay hydrated it's uh, very important you need it to pass the exam <laughs> let's go okay so now let's talk about the exam so if you do want to jump to a specific part there the menu is down below timestamp is down below check it out jump to whatever you want to jump to so you don't have to watch me talk about failure and then um, talk about success okay guys so let's talk about the first section which is um me filling the exam so we're going to talk about the reading material the video course uh the books that i use to take the, the exam the first time and we're going to talk about the reason why i think i failed it the first time this one is the official microsoft guide right here this is the microsoft administrator exam reference it's the az 104 um reference book this book is really good um it's been through some things <laughs> uh, it's a really good book i don't have anything to take away from the book well structured well put together it has a lot of the information that you you need and it has like practice that you can go through and all that stuff but i do feel that this book was was lacking some things um again it's not to take anything away from the book i think all in all it's a really great book and if you're looking for something simple something that you can just read through and stuff like that uh this is a great book for you it's this guy right here this is the microsoft az 104 uh exam reference as well as the az 104 microsoft azure administrator certificate and beyond and beyond <laughs> there you go it's this guy right here it's my kindle now this book is really good i really really enjoy this book uh, i'm gonna have a link to it down in the description box below because um, it's uh, it's hard to see on my kindle this book is really good one of the things that i love about this book is the idea of like not just talking about specific things but it talks about something and then it goes through like a whole lab when it it's talking about a specific topic it goes through the whole thing itself this is how you do it this is where you go this is how you click it this is what you click that is very valuable when you want to understand something. So those are the two reading materials that I used the first time I took the exam. For video training for the first time I took the course, I did the IT Pro TV, which again, I don't have anything to take away from IT Pro TV. Um, great platform, I've used them a lot and I still use them. I'm still gonna use them in the future as well. And the information was well structured, well put together, goes exactly according to the exam objective so you can follow along, they have notes. I um, mean, they have everything that you that you uh, need to pass the exam. Practice test. Uh, I did IT Pro TV again. I did IT Pro TV for the first time. I took the practice test. Uh, practice test was really good. Um, the IT Pro TV practice test is a lot more harder. Like it's just so much more difficult. But one of the things that I like about the, the IT Pro TV practice test is that they kind of go through the whole thing in terms of like, hey, this is why the answer is wrong. And they don't just give you like quick reference or like short explanation they go through detail as to why each answer in the choice the multiple choice question whatever it is that you do in drag and drop whatever it is that you have to do they give you a detailed explanation as to why each one is wrong and why the right one is right uh, and i've said that in most of my videos before that's one of the reasons why i love it pro tv so one of the reasons why i failed the exam was that I was kind of laxy daisy about the material because i've been playing around in azure for a while um my job that i work at currently we use azure and i'm in there all the time i'm looking at things uh, and stuff like that so i didn't do too much labs because i feel like uh, i kind of know my way around i don't really know i don't really want to pay too much attention to lab the exams they're not focused on the day-to-day -day things that you do. I, I know. <laughs> I know. They're not focused about the day-to-day -day things that you do in Azure. They're focused specifically to what the topic is for the exam. So if you approach it in a mindset of like, oh, I do this, this, and this in Azure, that's that's good. But also don't ignore the, uh, the exam objective because... Uh, the exam is not going to ask you what you do at work. They're going to ask you what they told you to study <laughs> which is referenced in the book so that was the first mistake that i made and if you're going to study for the exam even though you've been um in, been playing around in azure for a while follow the exam objective understand what they're asking you to understand 
and then just go from there. Don't just be lackadaisy and say, oh, I've been in Asia for a while. This is going to be a walk in the park. It's not. <laughs> the second one that I made was that at the time of the exam, the time that I was supposed to take the exam, there was something else going on um, that I had to deal with. I was not in the right state of mind, so to speak. Me being me, there was no way I was going to reschedule that exam. <laughs> This is exam day. I told myself I'm going to take this exam on this exam day. Even if I fail it, I don't care. I'm going to take it. It's a very good attitude to have, but it's an attitude that also has to kind of reflect your state of mind. I went in and I took the exam and I'm right in front of the exam and I'm looking at the exam and the questions came up and I'm like, what? What are they asking me to do? I was so lost because my mind was just all over the place. And I was staring at the exam like, yo, what is this question? The exam and I were staring at each other like, what is going on here? Uh, I don't think it has anything to do with the material itself that I used to study. I think it was just my approach to it. Uh, now, let's talk about so what I did after I failed the exam. So the first thing I did when I came out of the exam is that I went through, because um, when you fail an exam, it doesn't matter what vendor it is, they give you an outline of some of the things that you did right, some of the things that you did wrong, and some of the things that you can do better. They don't give you the questions, of course, um, <laughs> but they give you an outline like this section, you did this here, that section, you do that. And what I did was that, okay, these are the things that I need to pay attention to, but I think what I, what was also very beneficial to me is like right after the exam, um, I started writing things down like, oh, I didn't feel like I understand this question well. I didn't feel like I did that this well. And then I print out the page, of course, the PDF that they give you to evaluate how you did in each section. I printed that out and I kind of went over it and kind of pay attention to the section um, that I felt. Um, the first thing I went to was the Microsoft documentation, not the documentation, the Microsoft um training if you use the microsoft study material which is free you do not need to buy those books the microsoft study material is a hundred percent enough to pass the exam you do not need no book now, granted the material is heavy in terms of like length but if you sit down and that's one of the things that I had to do to, re to be able to pass the exam. I sat down, I went through each module, and I went through each section. I took notes. Uh, I would get up early in the morning, my dog and I would just sit there, <laughs> him bugging me, me taking notes, um, and just trying to fully understand the material because I wasn't going to make the mistake that I made the first time, which was taking the exam for granted because I feel like I've been in Azure for a while. Second thing I did was that I went heavy a little bit on lab and a great, great like hands-on. And a great, great, which I think is a really good video course for that, is this video course at Udemy. This course was A1. I will have a link in the description box below. It was A1 because it doesn't just kind of like say, hey, this is this, this is this, this is that. No, it kind of goes through the whole thing and it says, hey, can you follow along? And if you follow along, this is going to be helpful for the exam. It's very, very good if you go through it and then follow along. Following along with this course helped me out a lot. I didn't go through the whole thing because he has a section for the exam itself and he has a section for PowerShell. And then it has a section for some of the questions that might come on the exam. You can go through that. I didn't go through that. But you definitely can go through that while you like walk in, while you're doing stuff around the house. You can be listening to that to be able to see if you're able to um, kind of grasp some of the concept that he's talking about. Very important take this course it will help you out it's a great course the last thing that i needed was a study um, uh, practice test this is where i found WizLab. oh my word WizLab. I, I gotta give him credit really good um practice material and really really good outline of like whatever exam that you want to take well they, have, they don't have all the exams but they have things like the azure i'm actually using them right now to study for my next certificate which is the aws um, certificate which is an aws certificate very well structured very the way they laid out is so good it's like video course labs and then you can go to the practice test for the az 104 i didn't buy everything i just bought the practice test and i didn't really test myself per se what i did was that i just go through each test understand the the reason why the wrong answer is wrong and they do also do a great job of doing that and understand why the right answer is right 
the layout of the exam very similar in terms of like the layout not the exam the layout because <laughs> so no people i was like oh yeah is it the same question no it's not the layout is very similar in terms of like the way the exam is structured so if you understand the reason why the wrong answer is wrong and why the right answer is right and you dive into detail outside of the practice test in terms of like oh okay they're talking about this they reference this link go to that link and then read it very helpful very helpful and this was kind of like the secret sauce to me passing the exam almost because the the again the layout is very similar and if you understand why one thing is wrong and one thing is right you're good to go but one of the things that people don't realize about this exam is that it requires a lot of studying think about me going through the material the first time it took me about a month and a half to go through that material maybe even more Maybe even more to go to the material at the same time. I can't keep track. I lost track all the time to go through the material um, the first time. And then the second time it took me like uh, less than a month to kind of way less than a month. To, of course, because I went through the material the first time, it took me less than a month to kind of go through this other material. The video course, for example, I was listening to it in like a, a 1.5 X speed. Um, so I finished it a little bit faster. Um, took me less than a month to go through the material and then be able to pass the exam. So that's pretty much it. So the first section I talked about why um, the materials that I used and why I didn't pass the exam. The second section I talk about how I kind of reinvent myself or restructure myself to be able to um, study for and, and pass the exam the second time. So um, as always, thank you guys for watching. Um, again, I don't just want to talk about success. I want to talk about my failure. Um, bigger dreams and as I'm sure you're chasing bigger dreams too we're gonna to fail a lot I'm gonna fail a lot you're going to fail a lot and it's okay it's okay to embrace failure it's okay to say I don't know everything it's okay to take a step back and say like how do I become better it's not it doesn't mean that you're stupid it just means that you are learning how to learn you're learning how to grow you're learning how to become a better version of yourself and sometimes it takes taking a step back and saying that why do i why did i fail and then we approaching things thumbs up if you enjoyed the video thumbs up if the videos help you out in some way comment down below if you have any questions about the exam or about other things um i will try my very, my very best to respond to it and as always do not forget to stay geeking do not forget to stay uh, uh embracing failure because that's needed uh, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.